DC Comics. Favor of yours. What? Totally just dangling on a still rope. Absolutely zero security at Wayne Manor. Nipple bed. Heast. Alfred tells you how the movie will end 17 minutes in. Blake knows exactly where to go to find Gordon. Blake knows Wayne is Batman because of a f***ing look on his face. Doesn't use Batman voice in hospital even though he's wearing a mask. Who the f*** is this? Cops should be able to trace his cell phone without a call being made. Batman gets pickpocketed. Magical robo knee brace. Alfred suddenly knows everything about Bane. Where the hell did the motorcycles come from? Daytime when they go in the tunnel, nighttime when they come out. Ooh, is that a galaxy note? Well, it's Batman's galaxy note now. Ridiculous clean slate concept. This guy falls down for no reason. Uses Batman voice to talk to himself. So that's what that feels like. Alfred whines like a little bitch and breaks up with Batman. Illegal stock market trades made during an armed takeover are allowed to stand. Oh snap, better trust this bitch we know nothing about. At the end of all the time you've all been living on. What? Bane tickles a man to death off screen. Mr. Wayne. Wait, is she actually surprised that Wayne is Batman? Bane hits air, Batman goes down. This is not Batman, this is a bitch in a Batman costume. Bane knows exactly where the R&D lab is, even though it's off the books. So, Bane flew halfway around the world to the prison hole just to taunt Wayne, only to fly back to Gotham? Day in the sun. What? A woman in a men's prison justified by a cartwheel. Every available cop sent down to the sewers at once. Doctor turns reactor into nuke in two minutes flat. Police officer just now realizing that guns kill. Gotham football team draws fewer fans than Jacksonville. Heinz Ward shows acting range by returning kickoffs. Blake says, screw it, guns are good again. Why didn't they just blow up this bridge like the others? U.S. government does basically nothing to help Gotham. If this were the Avengers, we'd have nuked the city just to kill Bane. Bane does an Adam Sandler impression. Gotham is yours! Why is Bane keeping the police alive? And that, folks, is the basis of chiropractic medicine. Liam Neeson isn't killing anyone in this scene. Bruce gets crucial plot details from his own hallucinations. Wait, is Catwoman a lesbian? This wall actually still looks pretty easy to get over. The prison hole halfway around the world gets better cable reception than I do. That fall alone would kill him. These guys are terrible at hiding. Bruce destroys his only way of knowing what's going on in Gotham. Would you just climb out of the pit already? Sudden stupid bad omen. Did he teleport into the city? Eventual bad guy helps good guys find the bomb. He's the street artist that Gotham deserves, but not the one it needs right now. Also, Christopher Nolan just ripped off the crow. Another guy falls down for no reason. Count to five, then throw. One, two, three. Dude, she knows you're Bruce Wayne. You can chill out with the voice. Cops with batons charge machine guns and tanks, and most don't die. Remember how his back is broken and his knee has no cartilage? Plot twist turns Bane into a lovesick puppy dog. Catwoman's surprise saved the day surprises no one. Would it kill you for once to just say I'm Bruce Wayne and stop being so cryptic? This nuke with a six mile blast radius would definitely have incinerated Batman. We didn't die in the blast, but the radiation will certainly kill us. Hooray! Oh yeah, Alfred's in this movie. Isn't this the same ending as The Postman? Robin. Oh, give me a f***ing break. No one notices the most famous recently dead person in the world sitting at this cafe. Some men just want to watch the world burn in the shape of a bat drawn with gasoline.